Hey guys, good morning. What stories are you telling yourself? See, every one of us tells ourselves stories, right? We all have these narratives and these stories we have in our heads. And it's generally, you guys, it's generally why we don't do something we want to do or we know we should do. That's that's generally the reason why we have these stories or these narratives. And we all do it, every one of us. I still do it. I still catch myself doing it. And we all go through life and if there's something that comes up, it's usually if it's challenging or if it's an obstacle or if it's uncomfortable, that's a big one. If it starts to get uncomfortable, then we all have this this go-to narrative, this story of why we don't do it. And it could be, I mean, it's across the board for tons of people. It could be why you don't exercise, why you don't eat better, why you aren't improving your relationships, why you haven't you know, um, forgiven someone or let go of a grudge, why you're struggling with some emotions, why you haven't worked on your spirituality or your finances or, or whatever it is, your business, your neighbors, your, your yard, your house, your car, your clothes. I mean, all of it, we all have these narratives. And what's fascinating is, is a lot of the narratives we just kind of pick up with as, as children. Um, my oldest daughter, Kaya, she's been reading this incredible book about Harriet Tubman and telling her story. And as she left and escaped from slavery, she tried to take other people with her and they're like, no, 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 we're, we're, we're staying here. And we, you know, why, why would we do that? That's the unknown. We're not going to go out and do that. And they, they didn't want to escape. Even her own husband didn't want to escape. And, and she tells these stories, to little girls. And, and then she ties it back and, and realizes they picked up all their stories when they were young, before they were four years old, they weren't allowed to uh, work with this work in the field. And so they were being indoctrinated with fear and danger and, and all these things. And so they picked up these stories and narratives. And a lot of us also have picked up those same stories or narratives. So my challenge to you is my invitation. And we're going to do a full training on this, you guys. On January 2nd, we're doing a full training on you know the strategy of like creating your extraordinary life. And we're doing a 28-day challenge, so I hope you'll get in on this. And we're going to do a full training on this, how to do it, how to identify it. But I wanted to give you one key right here. And this, like this, this could change your life forever. I mean, that's, that's how huge this is. And it's made a gigantic difference in my life because I had tons of narratives that I'd been given as a kid that I'd picked up from teachers in my environment, the neighborhood, parents, you, 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 the media. You just pick this stuff up. And I had all these narratives and I had to rewrite them. I literally had to rewrite the stories that I was telling myself. And so here's, here's my one challenge. Just, just this one strategy could totally transform your life. Think through the things you would like to do, right? And then like total honesty, like all out straight honesty, identify and write down the story you tell yourself of why you're not doing what you know you should do or what you'd like to do. A lot of you would like to travel more. You'd like to get a different job. You'd like to move to a new place. You'd like to improve your relationships. You'd like to overcome a weakness. Just what story, when that comes up, what story do you keep telling yourself, right? What's the narrative that always comes up like, oh yeah, well, I would do that, but, right? Well, I can't, I can't because, you know, one time and on and on, right? So identify the story, literally write it down and then next to it, write out your new narrative. What's the new story you're going to tell yourself about taking action, right? If you have a dream, and I hope you have a dream, maybe you have a story of why you don't dream. I've met people, they said, they've told me things like, no, I, I don't allow myself to dream because then I'll just be disappointed if it doesn't happen. That's their narrative, that's their story. So if you have a dream, and I hope you do, why aren't you living your dream yet? What's keeping you back? And, I'll, and I'm pretty confident that you've got some kind of story, some kind of narrative you're telling yourself about why you're not doing it or why it can't happen, or why it won't happen, or what's preventing you. And a lot of this is, uh, when, when we get really honest with ourselves, you guys, it's excuses, and it's blaming, and it's playing the victim, and not allowing ourselves. So we have these narratives, these stories, that literally are blocking us from reaching our potential and being our absolute best selves. So nail those stories, get them written down, share them if you want to, share them in the comments here. 
and then rewrite a new story and definitely share those. Share those with us. What's your new story? What's the old story? What's the new story? What are you going to tell yourself? What are you going to go out and make happen? And I promise you guys, if we'll shift and change, rewrite the stories and the narratives that are keeping us back. Like, and I've done this in my own life and I've helped a lot of people do this. In fact, this is what I do. <laughs> Literally, this is what I do. I wake up every day and I go out and I challenge people to think differently. And when I'm doing my coaching and my mentoring, and we're, we're doing setting things up, we're literally rewriting those stories so that we create power instead of disempowering, right? So get those identified, write them down, get out, change your life. Remember, awesome is always an option, so reach upward for it. Love you guys, have a fantastic day. Rewrite those stories, go make things happen.